After pretty much no winter weather to speak of in Kansas, I decided to take the mighty van to Colorado to find some snow. I loaded up my van with supplies for my sister, who lives up there, and hit the road. My mighty van is a 1991 Dodge Caravan with 50,000 original miles and equipped with optional all-wheel drive, the first year ever offered in a Chrysler van. I put on some oversized mudding tires and rally fogs and foolishly want to take it on off-road adventures. So we have a situation. I got the snow that I wanted, but they ended up closing I-70 west of the Eisenhower Tunnel because of a big accident. So now I have to take Loveland Pass all the way around the tunnel through a snowstorm. That's just a sheer cliff. No guardrails. Turns out conditions on the pass weren't that bad, but it did save me from sitting for hours in traffic due to the highway closure. But there were more challenges ahead. Now we got one more climb ahead of us to get over Vail Pass. And I got about 150 horsepower at sea level. And this thing is definitely not enjoying the altitude, as you can hear. But as Miley Cyrus said, it ain't how fast you get there. It's not what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. Go, mighty man, go, go. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. The mighty van crested Vail Pass without a problem, and as we coasted downhill to our destination, the winter weather dissipated, and we arrived just in time to take the whole family to dinner. The next day brought a whole new adventure for our minivan, but first let's talk about the hiccups. I had a few little issues. My speedometer would come and go in the last 15 minutes of the trip, and my tachometer was spiking and going crazy as well, probably something with the... Uh, body computer, but it seems totally fine now. First, I have a little errand to run, which is something that a typical minivan would be doing. And then we're going to go and try and find some snow in off-roading fun. You ready for ski school? No. Which one of daddy's cars is your favorite? The van. The van? Really? Not Superman car? I like, I like all the other cars. Oh, that's nice of you. Say thank you. After dropping Mini Me off at school, I headed south exploring a gorgeous road, which eventually turned to dirt, and I was introduced to a major downside of off roading in an early 90s Chrysler product. Oh my god, this thing is so rattling. there's a lake somewhere and we're gonna find it or this van's going to rattle itself apart oh geez yeah it didn't take long for the rattling body to drive me insane so I decided to do some off-road exploring How cool is this? Oh, please don't get stuck there. There's no phone service out here. I could pose like this to epic music all day, but there was a lake to find, so the mighty van and I set off. So the old girl made it. Admittedly, it was just mostly dirt roads, and there's a... Uh... Chevy Trailblazer and Jeep Cherokee parked over there. So it wasn't much of a challenge. Honestly, a Dodge Neon probably could have made it as well. But there's more to come. I'm leaving my van out here with my sister. 
and as the snow melts and we get out of this mud season and more of these off-road trails start opening up, I think I'm gonna do more with this van. So, wish me luck.